go back with abundance of water, the foolish man must be taste. And the grace of Okro is a cassava shame. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the big lady in the town. <laughs> Mrs. Charles say the fresh lady in town. I will fair Patricia. It's a beautiful lady in town. It's a creativity. Say, you see my fresh lady in town. Mrs. Charlotte, good morning. Good morning, Bukum Banku. Today is my first time I see you in my life. You are fresh too much. Me too. Today is the first time I'm seeing you. You're you are Ghana born baby. Or you are Ghana outside born. Ghana, Ghana born baby. Mm. Where? Fresh lady. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Okay. Mm. Some people in the slums believe the increasing teenage pregnant are because they are no jobs for the guests in those areas. Do you agree? I don't think so. I don't think jobs are the only issue. Um, most of the teenagers who are getting pregnant, when you look at the statistics and you look at their ages, 14, 15, should not even be working. They should be in school. So what we should be addressing is why are they not in school or why are they getting pregnant while they're in school? And if they get pregnant, then we should put them, make sure that they can go back to school. We take care of the baby so that they can go back to school. And if they go back to school, then they, are, they get skills. Then they can work so that jobs do not become the issue. And once they can work, then they can take better care of themselves and the children that they have and make sure that those children get a good education as well. So it is not jobs. Maybe jobs may be the problem if it is that their parents are not working. And so their parents are not able to give them the kind of care that they should give them, which is what leads to them getting pregnant but as much as possible we need to make sure that these kids go back to school so that they can finish their education and take better care of themselves and the babies so uh, how best can this challenge be addressed it has to start from all of us so let's take you Banku. do you have any teenage daughter do you have a daughter who is a teenager no Banku, you told me your daughter Memuna is 17. Yes. 17, she's a teenager. So what is Memuna doing? Are you taking good care of Memuna? Are you making sure that Memuna can go to school? Are you making sure that Memuna can learn a skill, a trade, so that even if Memuna gets pregnant, Memuna can take care of herself and take care of her child? And if she gets pregnant, what will you as the parent do to support her? So for everybody who sees a, a child who gets pregnant while in school. We can help that child by supporting the baby, making sure the child goes back to school, gets to learn a skill, and then we can all save that child. So um, in terms of what we can do, if you, for instance, in, in the Bukum area, you can bring me 20 young girls who are teenage mothers and who really want to go back to school or who really want to learn a skill to take care of themselves, I commit to finding partners who would help these girls learn a skill and go back to school and take better care of themselves. Finally, what word of advice do you have for our young girls in the slums who will want to be like you, the fresh woman? <laughs> I would advise the young girls in the slums to take their education seriously. If you find that you are not somebody who is academically inclined, as in you don't like school, before you say I'm speaking big English again. So if you find that you, the young girl, you don't like school, make sure you learn something. Learn to do something with your hands. Can you sew? Can you make soup? Can you do tie-dye? Learn to do something. Can you do hair? Get a skill. Once you get a skill, you are better empowered to help yourself. In other words, you can stand. And then for people like you, Banku, who like marrying plenty women, it also contributes to teenage pregnancy. Make sure that the women have a job. They can take care of themselves. So that even if you are not there tomorrow, they can take care of themselves, they can take care of their children. That is the only way we can stop teenage pregnancy. And as parents, we need to pay attention. Focus on your children. Focus on your children. When you go and buy Tatali Banku, go back to your house. Don't look at girls. Focus on your children. That is how we'll stop teenage pregnancy. Do you agree with her suspicion? Of course I do. I didn't even, I didn't even know she, she, you had interviewed her earlier on.
But some of the things I told you, she's also told you. Because uh, he's speaking their whole mind. Who is speaking their whole mind? Charlotte. She's speaking her whole mind. Yes, he's speaking their whole mind. So I want to ask you, you and him, their mind is one or different. Because what they are Charlotte saying. I mean, you know my English is grammar, so relax. Yeah, yeah, it's grammar, I know. Yes. You are the dictionary. Yes. All of us, you are learning from you. Yeah. Yeah. So I need, I, I need you to uh, fight off this since everything will close in Ghana because he still find that 14 years, 15 years he's pregnant. He's born the baby. He's around. He won't go to school. That is uh, it's still fun. So I want you to say something about me, to stand your back, to do it for me. I'm so, I'm so happy. You know, that is why when we started, I said, we are not taking it as a comedy. That Bukom is coming to speak English for us to laugh. This issue is a serious issue. Teenage pregnancy is a serious issue. You go to the UN, that is a discussion. And like she, she said, and we have said earlier on, we need to educate the children. If a child goes to school, by 18 she's finished school, she will learn how to do something on so her own. What, uh, what the parents can do to help this issue? They allow the children to go to school. That is why we need to meet as a community. Let them tell us the problem. Now, basic education is free. Secondary school is free. So you can't tell me you can't pay school fees. That is why your child is at home. You can't tell me you don't have money to send your child to school. When they go to school, they give them breakfast. They give them lunch. They give them supper. They give them books. They give them uniform. So you can't tell me there's no excuse. Previously, you could say that I couldn't pay school fees. A lot of people finished JHS and they stayed at home. But now our president has given free education. Uh, I want you to look at your camera and say something about the girls, about teenage pregnancy. What say your mind? Young girls, not only in Choco, Mamobi, Adabraka, Shredru, Kumasi, and all. I believe that everybody is watching this show. And it is your brother, Bukom Banku. Today, we are not looking at him as a boxer or as a comedian. But we are looking at him as an advocate, somebody who wants education, who wants the president's vision for all to materialize. And so he's taking it upon himself to be a champion for the president and to say that because education is free, no child should be left behind. So we are going to start our education. We are going to move to the Chokos. We are going to move to the Manprobi. We are going to move to the um, uh, Malata and all that and start our education. So if you see your brother Bukom Banku in a van in your area, because he will not only have access to everybody individually, but we can hear his voice to be on radio, to be an advocate to champion education. And I believe that at his age, he's also even learning how to master his English language. And that is the main reason why he's encouraging the, not only the young girls to go to school, but the young boys as well. And I believe that when they go to school, and they are educated, they will want to aspire higher, and they wouldn't want to get themselves pregnant. Because... Uh, I know you can stand to kill that disease because if you don't stand to kill that disease, it, it, it go make plenty. Teenage pregnant, it go, it go rule the Ghana because age of 14, 13, 11 all make abortion. They are pregnant, they carry the baby, they don't go to school, they don't listen to their mother and father. They go, what is that problem? You you go fighting for me in the nation to kill it, that disease is coming down. We will start the, the education. We will start sensitization. Sensitization means talking to people. So we'll start and then we'll get role models. We have a young girl in the central region. She started educating her peers on teenage pregnancy and all that. In the school, almost every year, when they are writing an exam, three, four girls will get pregnant. When she started at the advocacy, the pregnancy has gone down, and she herself has been enrolled into Wesley Girls High School. And she's still champion. You know Wesley Girls? You know, have you heard of Wesley Girls? Yes. Where is it? I don't know. Man. Cape Coast. Cape Coast. I'll Cape take Coast. you there when they open, we open school to talk to the girls, to see fine girls. No problem. Doctors I'll, and I'll, lawyers. I'll, I'll follow you to go. Yes. So we'll go to Wesley Girls and we'll talk to the young girls there. We'll have people. They will also take them to, um, they have areas in Cape Coast where girls also get pregnant and they've started education and then we'll start from there. You know something? I'll help you very well. To killing that teenage pregnant in the nation. Thank because you. if you go to Kumase, Takra, the teenage pregnant, including my area, Buko, and Choko, it's too much. And I know if you stand, you can, you can kill this disease. By God's grace. So. By God's grace. We'll start. We'll start the advocacy. When we are so going. thank you.
We'll move with you. Out to the weather report, according to the Ghana Metro and GMC Africa, shh, the, the sea will become all oh, what tomorrow. So the fisherman, can you go your fishing? All the fish in the in there, the weather is coming. The water is coming. Well, I beg you, if you go to the fishing, you must protect yourself very well for answer it the closer your mouth. And you go and carry to the fish to come. Eh? And now to my favorite park, the word for the week. It's a price. Hey, what is this? It's it says, Madam, I, I beg you, this English is bigger than my head. So I want you to I say it you. before I say it. I, listen to Who me. I, say it first? Ma, I can't say it. Exemplates or exact spray. Examination. So I beg you, this one is bigger for my head. So I want you to teach me. I beg you. Exact spray. Exact spray. Uh -huh. Exact spray. Book you are number one. You too, you are number you one. You are champion. You are a good lady. I will fair Patricia. Okay, listen. Listen. Word of the week. Exasperate. Exasperate. Meaning to irritate and frustrate someone intensely. Example. The boys exasperate Ajua loud with their excessive noise making. You said exasperate. Exasperate. You are champion. Don't exasperate Bugo Baku. <laughs> Don't evaporate me. Exasperate me. Don't exasperate me. Or don't kill me. Now I'm boom, boom, buko bank, fresh buko bank. So don't evaporate me again. I beg. Buko bank. I brought you hand sanitizer. This is Vikesh hand sanitizer for my constituency. Oh, eh? Thank you. She's a fresh lady. She does. She came to teach us in the ministry to do the hand sanitizers. I'll, so do, I brought I, you. I, I'll do everything for you. Thank mm. you. So you open it. Let me test. Hey, come and open it for us. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, it's good. It's good. Alcohol. You must use hand sanitizer. To kill the disease for your hand and, and cover I, your nose. I brought you my own special mask. Yes, ma'am. So that anytime you see the picture, you remember that. I'll we are call going your name kill. every day, every night. Okay. That's my hand. My, Thank you. my mask. And this is soya milk. It's a gift we want you to drink and get energy so that you can work well. And when you go home, you give the young girls and you give the older women also. Because I deal with the young girls and I love older elderly people. So you give them as well. Thank you. God bless you. Keep now we can life. we can greet. Yeah, I'm forgetful. I will teach you both. To beat learn. them all. To beat all the boys. Yeah. Oh, Buko, fighting is not good. You stop be fighting. You beat them in the paper room. Yes, boy. <laughs> we'll be right, back. Thank you so much. Watch out for next week. Next week, he make a degraceable for the gunshed disease of gunshed. We are the life for our honorable say Bankunaba for G for GH1 TV. H1 TV.
Give me the lighter, lighter. Give me the lighter, lighter. Then the people them a lighter, lighter. Father, 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 Fire put them all. Give me the lighter, lighter. Give me the lighter, lighter. Then the people them a lighter, lighter. Father burn them lighter, lighter. Show me the lighter, lighter. Show me the lighter, lighter. Then the people them a lighter, lighter. Then the people them a lighter, lighter. Tinga tinga ling, that's what it is. Did the father me too too tagloom by day. Tinga tinga ling, that's what it is. Did the father me too too tagloom by day. Pika pika, did the shabaram, did the shabaraka to ya we a me a man think too. The man he come and a pick it like this. Fire we a me and we a me a man do. The man he come and a pick it like this. Fire we a me and a man we a man do. Them the people them a ram to my name. Then the people they legalize things. Then everybody will rock my name. Them everybody my legal I think. Fire the bone them up my thing. Them everybody my rock to them. I know what they say, 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 yeah, 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 say, yeah, 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 Show me the lighter, lighter. Them the people them a lighter, lighter. Them the people them a lighter, lighter.